Don't you even think about coming back. We all put you in. Sneaking suspicion that they want some coffee. If I don't get some coffee soon, I'm going to shoot somebody. <gasps> Sorry to bother. I can't stand tea. I must have coffee. is for you. All right. Right out. Busy. What is it? Jeb has been taken away. I saw two doctors shove her into a popper. Oh my goodness. Why? But she was digging into the tunnels. That didn't come out right. I, I, I followed up. The whole underground is sort of falling apart. Oh my. That's why you sent her, wasn't it? Not to write about the tunnel rats. I certainly couldn't print a story like that, could I? The joy's gone bad, and Dr. Verloc knows. But he's telling them not to worry. He's got some sort of permanent solution. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Well, that's sort of exactly what I thought. If I had a press pass, I could get into Hayworth Labs. And my old adulator, if you still got it. After what happened to Gemma? Dr. Verloc. He's sort of his own law there. I have some personal business there. If I'm not here when you get back, if you found something out, see if you can't publish it. Those numpties out there know how to put the ink on the page, but the only articles they ever read are their own. You're getting out? How? Oh, I wouldn't even know how to get out. But you never know when I might stop printing lies. And they won't like that. Great. I've got all my press stuff back. That ought to be handy. You can show up all sorts of places regular people shouldn't go. Hmm. I bet if I got the coffee. 
coffee machine working, they'd all head off to the kitchen for a nice cup of joe. Me, just having a bit of a sit down. with me. for the next minute.
Drop that. Right now. No snakes in my garden! Place yourself, Arthur. I did think I used to run the hundred meters. Lawrence's house. Did he was the hero of Ramsgate, wasn't he? No. Never mind. You probably don't know how. Are you guessing him his porridge? No. I'm turning the alarm system back on, which someone left off. You want some downer to walk in and take all our reserves? Why don't you tell the whole bloody neighborhood we've got reserves? Oh, yes. You must tell me about your wonderful reserves. Stop cracking your damn knuckles. Turn, you know. He's your dad. That's hardly my fault, is it? 
I made the porridge. The least you can do is bring it up to him. It wasn't my idea for him to live with us. As I recall, you wanted him to move out. It was a decent thing for him to do. Make way for the new generation. How can they talk about him like that? He was a war hero in two wars. Bet they didn't even fight. What lovely people. Remind me never to have kids. Well, it's not terribly likely anyway, is it? It's better this way. Sorry to bother. And the bad news is, Eddie, you change with Tommy. Harry, you change with Red. Leave that alone, would you? Gives you a sense of purpose. We're life for noise. Pop a joy. It's been a hard day's night, that was. Did you hear that? <sighs> well, you've made your bed, Arthur, haven't you?
Right, enough of that then. Time for tea? Well, don't get shirty with me. You're not Regina, and you're not my son-in-law. And he isn't the stones to have me drowned in a cask of Malmsey. <laughs> so you're a burglar? Uh, I'm from this city. We're, uh, tracking a problem in the motorline pipes. Well, you're a rotten liar. <laughs> the city stopped taking care of the pipes years ago. I notice you're not screaming for help, though, sir. Have you met my daughter? <laughs> Frankly, I'd rather give my stuff to a burglar. <laughs> They don't tell you how rotten they can turn out. I trained grown men to make their beds and run into machine guns. Kids will break your heart every goddamn day. Thanks for the warning, sir. Does your father know what sort of lad you are? I'm afraid he may have suspected, sir. So you've got regrets. <laughs> Good. Kids downstairs, any time they start to regret, they pop a joy. Look, take whatever you want. But my brother Edward, haven't seen much of each other these past few years. I'd appreciate it if you'd go tell him I'm... I'm sorry. He'll know what it means. He's on Monmouth Road, number 22. <sighs> it used to be the most wonderful cheese shop on the corner. I'll be sure to pass along the message, sir. I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Just pretend it is beef. If I polish my boots one more time, I'm gonna end up with sandals. Ten hut! I wouldn't say that where the Sarge can hear you. My eyesight isn't that bad. Oh, tell it to the Marines. the picture of I have you can't hide forever you won't get away are you feeling all right when all this is over I wouldn't mind having a couple with some of those chairs man to man they're decent clean folk He can't move it, put camo netting on it. Scarford, didn't you? Aren't you the clever one? Who's there? What's going on? Down. 
Downer! Wenn du... Look at I'm putting a stop to this right now. Put that down. Oh! Get away with me. Oh, I love a Look. Look what a cat. I could take these all the time, and I wouldn't have any worries. There's the one that did it. <sighs> I wish I kept it shut. Right there. You can't deny it. Oh, oh, Should clear up soon, I imagine. See you at the pub. <laughs> you see, that's all you have to do. Lovely day for it. Watch out for scurvy. He does love to be in the paper. There you are. I told right. him the labs was on lockdown. All right. They don't listen Lovely anymore. Day for it. Well, you certainly laid out a convincing argument. Are you saying I... Hit him too hard. I don't know. Is he breathing? Well, he made a sort of sigh. And then some gurgling noises. He came right at me. Just m lovely day for it. Right, Toe. Where do you think you're going then? We're not open to the general public. Bugger all. I'm interviewing Dr. Verloc. Ah, you're a member of the Fourth Estate. You've come at an awkward time, you see, as we're just in the middle of. Uh... Well, there's been a bit of excitement in the lab. Let's come back tomorrow. You're not saying something's gone wrong? No, of course not. Everything's peachy. Look, all right, 
you take your press pass up to Helen in public relations. Just uh, follow the sort of brown coloured line. I must ask you not to stray from the path because there's all sorts of delicate machinery and chemicals and whatnot, and we don't want you hurting yourself, do we? What sort of crisis makes them lock down the entire factory? 